So the Chiari 1 um, may be what we call a primary Chiari or a secondary. With the primary Chiari, we don't have an underlying cause. So these patients will either have symptoms or be scanned for something else and you find that the cerebellar tonsils are being pushed down. The secondary Chiari's do have an underlying cause. So there may be something in the brain, whether it's hydrocephalus or something growing, pushing the brain down. Or there may be something in the spine, so it's called a tethering, that pulls the brain downwards. So you may have something pushing or pulling on the tonsils, causing them to pop out through the hole in the skull. And so that's a secondary cause. But for most patients, we don't have an underlying cause for a Chiari. The diagnosis of a Chiari malformation is very easy. It's simply done by an MRI scan. The problem, however, is putting that diagnosis and the scan findings in the clinical context. So there will be a number of patients who have very severe symptoms with a very mild amount of cerebellar tonsillar descent, which one wouldn't historically term a Chiari, but may be causing problems. And then there are patients who may have very severe Chiari on a scan but have no symptoms at all. So the diagnosis is based on clinical symptoms, signs, clinical judgment, helped by an MRI scan.